Elaine from Colorado here. I read a delightful article some years ago, and it came back to mind this morning. It's called The Emperor Has No Clothes. Do you remember that Danish fairy tale from Hans Christians and Andersen? It's a delightful story about a emperor who had so much ego and so much money that he decided he would become what we lovingly call a clothes horse. He changed his coat every day. In fact, he changed it every hour. He had to have the finest clothes, the finest of everything. Some swindlers came to town and said they could weave the most gorgeous garments, absolutely marvelous. And the fabric was so fine that a person who was not worthy of his office could not see the fabric. It was invisible. You get the message. The emperor gave them money, lots of it the finest of silk, gold-laden fabrics, and they wove mm -hmm. a wonderful outfit for him. Actually, they didn't do a thing. They didn't do anything. They managed to extract all this money and valuable clothes from him. And they wove him theoretically, a marvelous suit. They asked him to undress, and they robed him in this beautiful garment. Well, of course, there wasn't anything there. He couldn't see it, because he was all ego. Therefore, he was not worthy of his station in life, and the fabric to him was invisible. No one was willing to tell him he was wearing no clothes until he paraded through the street and a small child said but he isn't wearing anything how many people are so caught up in their ego that they're not willing to admit the emperor has no clothes I've known businesses that thrived on putting forth nothing and convincing you it was something. When you're ready for something that's real, authentic, valuable, really helps, come see me. Until then, remember, sometimes the emperor has no clothes. This is Elaine from Colorado. Make it a great day.